right, you guys. What's happening? All right. Today, we're going to be talking about, in my opinion, a revolutionary artist. Now, um, this is not going to be a lot about saxophones, but it's going to be saxophone influence. So, hey, I'm going to talk about it. Um, today, this artist that I'm going to be talking about has um, just only a few albums. She's only been out for, you know, maybe three, you know, going on four years. She hasn't been out very long, but she's she's been out long enough for me to label her as one of my favorite artists of all time. And um, uh, I heard on an interview that uh, she got influenced by music from playing her saxophone. Go figure. What better instrument <laughs> would bring you to such a level of music, you know, um, but I'm just going to let you guys know and uh, stop procrastinating and say it's Chrisette Michelle. Chrisette Michelle is such a wonderful artist. She's been doing such good things and it's just wonderful. But um, really, what she's been doing is um, producing music that's um, deeper. As her albums go along, she finds different things in herself and she, you know, talks about it in her interviews and she gives you briefings on, you know, how she's, you know, doing through, you know, whether she's having an interview, whether she's um, actually singing it in her music. Now, um, a lot of people may not know Chrisette Michelle. Chrisette Michelle is a soul singer. She, um, she really likes to marry her um, genres of music. Um, she, um, does a little jazz, you know, crossover with, um, a new type of kind of like R&B soul type thing going on. And it's a really, really good combination because it really hits all cylinders for me. Um, when I first heard Cassette Michelle, I was in my, um, high school and we were playing a, a song of hers for our marching band. And I'm like, this song is a well-written song. Who, who wrote this? Uh, who came up with the concept, the idea of the song? And then I ended up looking at, you know, the um, the credits in the top right corner, and Chrisette Michelle's name came up, and I'm like, wow. You know, I have to look up this artist and see what she's all about. I just kept listening and kept listening, and I could not stop listening. This is the thing. With most CDs that you ever get, you never just put the CD in there and just let it run. You always press the skip button new days. You know, we can press the skip button and fast forward through what we want to. No, I didn't do that. It's like an old school record. I just put it in there and just let it run because every song was on point to some certain extent that I was like, wow. I couldn't, I, I couldn't understand how an artist could do this. You know, because you never know what an artist really has on the album or the full album until you actually sit back and listen to it. You know, um, I don't really sample the uh, CDs that much because as long as I, you know, have maybe a quarter of the CD that I know is good, I'll just go ahead and pick it up. But the thing about Cassette Michelle is 99.9% .9 of the CD was good. So it was kind of like, wow. I didn't, it doesn't take a rocket science just to tell you that. Chrisette Michelle has to be this wonderful artist because I am really um, picky when it comes to, I guess, keeping my own artist. Now, when I say keep my own artist, um, you know, label your own artist as, hey, this is somebody I want to take out there. You know, um, as a good jazz musician, what you want to do is you want to have um, a, a really, you know, a really good combination of different artists or maybe one or maybe two you know combination of artists you know that play what you want to hear so you can imitate and you know kind of style yourself out the way that they do you know this that's like one of the quickest ways you, you can learn by um finding a role model in music and i have to say Chrisette michelle is one of my favorite role models you know she She's always talking about how much she's learning, how much she enjoys being accepted by the people for being who she is. It is wonderful to experience the spotlight because I've done it. I mean, not on a grand scale, but I've done it in small scale. But to actually be yourself and be in the spotlight, 
who does that? who has that opportunity who has the wonderful opportunity that she has and 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 can really deliver the way she does not many people I've ever seen in the music industry do, do that a lot of people in the music industry really do vent about how they feel but a lot of this stuff is money controlled you gotta admit a lot of this stuff now in the industry is just money controlled and I mean I know Chrisette you know she makes some money but a lot of this stuff she's realizing and she's sharing her stories about how she's developing as a person even though you know she's a full-grown woman she's still developing and experiencing new things and that's what it's all about you know and then putting it in her music uh, I know there's a song that she wrote um 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 or, or, or sung or performed on her CD called um let's see let me see where it is it it, it was a song on her CD that really talked about not knowing something you never really know what's going to happen. You just have to experience it. And basically, the song is called I Know Nothing. You know, and it's it's so simple that I couldn't even think about it at first. I was like, wait, what's that song name? But it's really simple. I Know Nothing. And, and it, it really spoke to me when I heard it. Um, but it just all this music that she does just speaks to me on a certain level. And it's like... Not only does it speak to me, it doesn't have to be a complicated jazz piece or a complicated uh, traditionalist jazz bebop complicated licks you know, with diverse ranges of emotion. It's just bam, in your face, Ella Fitzgerald type, um, thinking outside of the box. Like she said, she says all this stuff in her interviews, but it's exactly what she does because when you think outside of the box, automatically you're going to be attracting some attention. And like she she does with her little Ella Fitzgerald lip where she goes, you know, and scats and, and, and does her licks and plays a little flat under the key pitch just for a dramatic effect. All that stuff is going outside of the box. She doesn't have to do it, but she does it, and she does it well. Like um, Neo um, collaborate with her. Um, when they were collaborating and she did that that little jazz run and riff and um, What You Do, the song was called What You Do, and um, it was just wonderful. And she did, like they said, in the right spot at the right time. And a lot of jazz musicians just can't do that nowadays. You know, it's not easy to do. You know, you have all this pent-up emotion and you're trying to vent it in your music and channel it in a way that everybody can understand it. That's extremely hard. So what you want to do is you want to try your best to do what you can with the song, and it's not easy. So when um, Neo got to her, Neo, you know, showed all this stuff, and then she became more of an artist, more than I ever expected. And check out the song "What You Do" and check out that link because it's just off the charts. And it's only for like what, like a measure or you know uh, four seconds or five seconds whatever she just and it just so so much emotion that you just can't you can't buy that from a regular artist you have to really look and find these artists and just look out there because all of these artists aren't hard to find but you gotta look you can't like i said you can never box yourself into one genre to be a good musician to know as much music as you possibly can you have to look outside the box and you have to be more than just uh, rock music or more than just jazz music you have to explore all of this stuff it's not just one thing you know and th and that's really what cassette Michelle does she marries genres you know and a lot of people don't really like to branch outside of the box and do anything new and they can't marry genres because they're so used to doing their one genre but not only does she marry the genres but she also hits you with the full force of her jazz along with her you know her soul type of singing and her emotion is all under that in bold print and it's kind of like wow it's just amazing it blew me away and um Chrisette Michelle is just a wonderful artist and I advise anybody to go out and buy any of her albums I think she have maybe four albums out now but I would really advise you to go out and buy um Let Freedom Ring um Rain excuse me Rain um, but I know she um, she really um, 
kind of mimic that um, that theme of let freedom ring. So really, really, because she lets her emotions ring throughout that entire album. And um, I've just heard, you know, samples and stuff like that. And, you know, I went to YouTube and tried to listen to some videos. But I'm telling you, you guys, Corsette Michelle is off the charts. And you really have to go with her and, and figure out how she does what she does. Because you're never going to know exactly why people do what they do in their music. But if you try to understand the emotion that she puts in her music, it is just amazing so what you guys you want to really just go and get that album you know you just you need to get that album you need to feel that same emotion that I felt when I heard her first album or when I heard her number one hit if I had my way so you guys need to just buy it that's all I can say um yeah but Chrisette Michelle is a wonderful artist she has so much emotion and so much uh, vocal range that um it's 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 empowering and um not only does she um sings you know about her you know i guess uh, experiences but she also talks about how she you know has grown into this artist that she you see her here today so um this is devin and i'm signing off for another wonderful episode of project sax talking about chrisette michelle because Christian Michelle is just a wonderful artist. I love her so much. And if I ever, before we sign off, I have to say, if I were to ever go see her in concert, y'all gonna have to <laughs> really uh, um, uh, help me because I am gonna be so shell shocked I might faint. It's just, she's just such a wonderful artist. I don't know what I would do if I ever saw her if I ever got her autograph or anything like that. And it's just so wonderful to know that people like that are real musicians that live in this world. Well, I'm Devin, and I'm signing off for Project Sax, and we're talking about Chrisette Michelle. What a wonderful artist. <laughs>